Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to review for you Your Physique of June 1950 with Abe Goldberg. Once again on the cover, he was heavily featured in the magazines of the late 40s and early 50s. Here in a very aesthetic pose, looking absolutely godlike almost. Uh, that chest is just, uh, yeah, like a Roman plate of armor. Look at those arms and delts. Everything is beautifully developed in this uh, fantastic bodybuilder from the silver era phenomenal now this particular magazine i really enjoyed reading because of the wealth of information found within in all the articles um, specifically if we look at um, the first pages we already find um, an article that i already covered and this was i believe how the saxons trained for the bent press and I, I, I was really um, uh, yeah I guess amazed at how um, they actually trained. I've covered uh, this topic already in a previous video but these guys as you can see here um, the, the Saxon brothers they trained every day and, and we're talking about from a really young age you can watch that video linked above and he, I mean to sum it up here's a great image of um, which I've already shown in, in in the previous video again and I'll zoom it up for you so you can actually read it if you if you wish but it does say here in this photo Arthur Saxon is holding 376 pounds in his arms he's holding his brother Herman who weighs 165 pounds who is seated and I don't know where you can see it but um, Arthur here is actually holding a, a um, kettlebell where his brother Herman is, is sitting on while also holding uh, 100 pounds overhead and it's just crazy and in Arthur's left hand he's got 56 so you can do the, the math and it's just a ridiculous amount of weight that Arthur Saxon was able to hold and um, of course the Saxon brothers were very famous for um, their exhibitions and demonstrations of bent press strength and um, they toured the world and again if you want to learn more about it you can check out the video that I've linked above and in the description on this particular article. It's fantastic to learn that through basically persistence and just specialization in, in uh, developing the bent press, they got to uh, do what's almost considered superhuman. They, they achieve superhuman strength. Now some other excellent articles that I found within, I think I already skipped the page. Yes, I did was um, Secrets of the Champions was interesting, and uh, here um, we can really start seeing Joe Wader's introduction of his principles. The first being uh, progressive resistance, then we've got the set principle, that is to use several sets per exercise. Believe it or not, back in the day, I think the Milo Barbell course only uh, recommended, which was one of the very first, by the way, um, courses ever for bodybuilders, I only recommended one set from what, what I remember per exercise, whereas uh, Joe Wader and others, or I guess others introduced the idea of, uh, of the set system, as in to use three or four or five sets for a single exercise, and uh, Wader made it one of the very first principles of his system. Another one was flushing the muscles, and that is to actually do this uh, different exercise for the same body parts. So you can do two, three, four different exercises for the same body parts um, to continue flushing the muscles with blood. Uh, so, for example, for the for the chest, you would do bench press, incline bench pressing, and dumbbell flies, as an example, right? That is an idea of flushing the muscle. So he started with his principles. Um, another great article found was, or I think I already passed it, yeah, of course, How I Developed My 19-Inch Arms by Reg Park. Again, an article that I've already covered where Reg Park goes through a whole variety of different um, exercises and with some really rare photos that I had never seen before of a very uh, young and rugged looking Reg Park there. A really, really awesome article. Um, another great one was, uh, not what's your problem, what's your problem, I didn't actually find that interesting. But of course, I did cover this as well, the supine press as, um, as suggested by Alan Steffen. I, I think I even did two different, um, two different videos on it. Of course, the creator of this uh, was George Hackenschmidt, and I did a video on this, and then the use of the supine press 
uh, for developing bench press power. I also covered uh, and even gave the program for it, which I thought was excellent, the, the, the Silver Era program, which was used by Silver Era legends such as Steve Reeves, Alan Steffen, etc. as shown here. There's a great shot of Steve Reeves performing the incline bench press with 110 pound dumbbells. No, it's not photoshopped. That's how strong Steve Reeves was truly amazing. I've already also covered the story of Monty Walford, who also created the Hack Squad. This was another excellent article I found within, and uh, as well as dumbbell curls for bulging biceps. I've done a, uh, a video on the art of dumbbell curling, featuring, of course, here Artie Zeller, who also had his own style of cur curl called the Zella Curl. Here's another great shot of Reg Park. And finally, there was a great um, article on Ed Theriault, uh, the most muscular small man. And um, one of the things that's so crazy about him was his insane arms, which were 17 inches. And mind you, this man only weighed 132 pounds and was, and was just over 5 foot in height. So to have a 17 inch arm was like having almost a 20 inch arm back then for a normal average um, yeah, average tall man, right? Can you imagine at a at almost five foot, just over five foot? So he was five foot one. He had 17 inch arms. It's insane. And I've done a separate article on Ed Theriot. And what, what um, he attributes to the 17 inch arm greatly is his insane triceps development. Um, he had a real thick triceps. And he um, used what's called the tiger bend. And I've done a separate video on Ed Theriault, excuse me, that's some messages coming through. So I've done a separate video on Ed Theriault and um, his use of the Tiger Bend for um, developing his 17-inch arms. A fantastic article this was as well. Finally, there was uh, some great pictures here, early pictures of Bud Count, uh, uh, an awesome bodybuilder from the day, as well as uh, here we have Norman Marks looking, geez, looking like a Roman statue. In more about the two hands press and that's uh, the articles that I mainly found very very interesting in this particular issue of your physique 1950 in June I hope you've enjoyed watching this short review on this very old and classic magazine from the silver era with a fantastic picture that I believe really does be <laughs> I believe it, it, it deserves framing I mean that's just that is art, and this is to me what bodybuilding should be, to develop an aesthetic, symmetrical, and strong, very strong, powerful looking physique. It doesn't need to be ripped to shreds, it needs to look healthy, strong, virile, and worthy of a, of a photo like this that you can just hang, I mean, damn, that's just phenomenal. I love the uh, covers and the physiques from the Silver Era, because they really, to me, represented the epitome of masculinity at its greatest fantastic look at that calf damn it's hanging it's fantastic anyway i hope you've enjoyed watching the video if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't to the golden era bookworm uh, leave me a comment and thank you again for watching you can always support my work if you like via donations at paypal or by becoming a patron and of course to um on patreon actually i i feature many of the articles that I base my videos on as well as photos and I occasionally also post books up uh, from the golden, silver and bronze era of bodybuilding that are already out of print. Uh, yeah, so I hope you can enjoy those on my uh, on those on, on, on my Patreon account and I also of course uh, have many of these books and courses on sale on my website www.goldenerabookland.com Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.